Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here. And look, I have a different backdrop. We're in our apartment. Well, right now I'm in the apartment. Mike is at work. Um, yeah, what do you think? This is our view out of our sliding door that's in our living room. Kitchen is over there, dining room there, master bed there, guest bed, front door that way. For those of you that watched my video, um, you might have a sense of the layout, and of course the loft is up there. I thought I would show you out the door. The light is kind of odd because it has me a little bit darker since all this brightness is behind me, but I've tested the, um, the look of my projects and I think it's going to work. So, welcome to Hawaii with Jan Hicks Creates. I feel like we're finally getting there. We don't have anything in the apartment yet besides what we had in the hotel room. Um, today we are getting the bed for the spare bedroom and the chairs for the lanai <coughs> delivered. Excuse me. So we felt that um, we could live with that. We lived with worse at the apartment in Maryland. So you know, air mattresses and camp chairs. So we could live with that. Um, next Tuesday is when our smaller shipment will be delivered here. Mike did get an email this morning that the big shipment of household goods has arrived. The delivery time frame is anywhere from a day to 10 days. It depends on, I guess, how long it takes through customs and what their schedule looks like. I think by the end of next week we'll be pretty much settled. Maybe the beginning of the following week, but we're getting there. So I just thought I'd show you this pretty view. I think these big trees here are called monkey pod trees. If I'm wrong, please somebody correct me. That's what I was told. They are stunning. They have these very flat canopies and very striking limbs, and they're just all over the valley up here in, um, this is north central Oahu, Oahu, the town of Mililani. So happy to be here. Let's see, what do we have going on? Um, my brain is bouncing. I do have notes. I've got to start doing notes again because I forget things. First of all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are one of my loyal, steady watchers, and welcome if you are new. I am thrilled that you are here. If you follow me on Instagram, or if you are on Stitch Mania, or um, Friday Off The Grid, or my Jan Hicks Creates Facebook page, you saw my announcement that on January 16th, I'm turning one. I knew it was somewhere around the beginning of the year, but I thought it was more like February-ish. Didn't have the faintest idea. So I looked it up yesterday, and lo and behold, on January 16th, I turn one years old. And I am almost at 3,000 subscribers. So that would have engendered and brought on some kind of word. <laughs> a giveaway. But then we have a one year anniversary too. So my, my, brain's, my brain's going like this. What can we do? What can we do? I am going to go to the cross stitch store here, Fiddlesticks 2, and um, see what kind of Hawaiian themed goodies I can gather together for several different prizes. There's gonna be, there's gonna be several. I don't know how many, I haven't a clue, but there's gonna be some more than one. So stay tuned for that. Um, I hope to have my, my act in gear enough. Let me see, what date is the 16th? <clears throat> it's a very good question. It's Wednesday. It's two Wednesdays from yesterday. So I think if I do my normal Tuesday or maybe Wednesday the 16th um, recording, I'll announce everything then and you know we'll have the giveaway running for a few weeks so we have that to look forward to very exciting um, I have let's see a couple finishes a new start some progress and then we're going to talk about my whips or my no not my whips my plans 
for 2019 for the for the year of big projects um, and stitch stitch from stash kind of sort of <laughs> I know I'm going back on it already I'm really not going to go back on it but you'll see what I mean um, <clears throat> so yeah lots to show you now some of the um, the plans for 2019 projects that I'm going to show you are going to be pictures because, of course, I don't have I don't have the patterns here with me. They are in my shipment. So bear with me. Be patient. Enjoy the view. I hope the noise of the, the highway up here, the H2 runs up here. Um, it's not too bad, I don't think. I have my microphone on, so hopefully that will, that will work fine. But um, I hope it's not too bad. We'll see whenever I listen back to this. Okay, so finishes. I don't believe I showed this one on my channel. I think I was almost finished the last time I showed it. Hold please while I get a background thingy. <coughs> and I don't think I was quite finished on my last floss tube. Of course you've seen it on if you follow me on Instagram and various other places, but Winter Wonderland. Maybe I did show it. I'm sorry, because I think I do remember talking about the little bird being off. But anyway, there it is again. I don't know. I think I did show it. Sorry. I could show you Harbor Haven again. I actually don't have it right here. Where is it? I'm sure you wouldn't mind seeing Harbor Haven again. I actually have to start looking around here and decide what wall is worthy of Harbor Haven. But one thing I know I, you haven't seen yet is Woolamina. This is Plum Street Samplers. Oh, is that adorable? The, um, oh shoot. And I don't have that pattern here but beside me. The front of the pattern shows it mounted in a white frame, a white circular frame kind of puffed out. <clears throat> Paulette does give the Etsy shop where you can get that frame in the pattern and that's what I'm going to do. I think it is just such a perfect finish for this piece that I'm going to go ahead and get that frame and hopefully mount it myself. And I, I don't think I've ever mounted a circle, so hopefully that, that won't be too much of a hassle. The, um, the DMC flosses are the called for ones. Um, the ones that were the um, the overdyed threads are all substitutes, mostly Victorian motto, but some other ones as well. I am um, so here's a grr moment I had <coughs> yesterday when I finish this. You know, I keep track of all of my projects in the X Stitch app, and I keep track of all of my. Um, substitutions in the notes for each of the projects. So when somebody asks me if they can have my substitutions, it's very easy for me to just go in and copy and paste wherever it's asked for. And I'm happy to do that. And you know, that's why I do that. So when I went in to mark this project as finished in the app and add some photos, I was having some problems. We were on the Wi-Fi at the hotel. The Wi-Fi at the hotel just randomly up and quits. It just goes down and you're kind of left hanging. So that happened in the middle of me saving this. And it happened like three or four times. I was, I was saying some words, people. So somehow in the process of that, I lost the notes. Grr. So anyways, I have to recreate that and I will do that. There are a couple people on Instagram who did ask for my substitutions. I will give those there and I will also put them in the description down below. So they're there if anybody wants to see them. But Woolamina and the, you know, the colors that I substituted are, are pretty much what she used. It's the same kind of tones. I think what I have is maybe a little brighter. But anyways such an adorable piece oh and the changes I made I do, did make a few changes <coughs> so the pattern has this little 
blue heart here, that is one over one. Up here, it had this random leaf, kind of this shape, but it wasn't attached to anything. It was just like taking up space there. And I thought, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna put another little blue heart because it's like a little light turquoise heart and it's so pretty. See how pretty that is? So I duplicated that up here. And then over here, there was supposed to be another pink heart like that. And I thought, you know, I need a triangle of blue because that's an important design element type of thing. <coughs> so I made that heart in that same blue as the other ones. I am just thrilled with this. So cute. All right, so what else do we have? We have some progress on things. Not a whole lot, but some. Home for Christmas, Plum Street Samplers again. This is the one that is the Dying to Stitch exclusive club kit that I snagged off of Stash Unloading. And you know, it's actually bigger than the feeling you get from this picture, but that's okay. <coughs> so I've gotten a little more of the border done. I got all of the pomegranates. Well, I didn't get the insides of the pomegranates filled, but I came down here and got the one vase with the pumpkin in it. So, this one I'm just working on an hour a day. That's what I'll continue to do, just to slowly but surely get it done. The next one I got a little progress on, Grace Quaker Sampler. This is the one that I'm doing as a stitch along. And the, the tag is um, hashtag Grace Quaker Sampler Sal on Instagram if you want to check out everybody's progress. Again, just moving kind of one hour at a time on this. Let me see here. <coughs> love this so I got this motif here done and I got to start on that motif and that's pretty much all I did this week this is so pretty yeah 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 I love it love it love it love it love it okay now I did have a New Year's Day start so my plan was to um, the first week of the new year either start a new one a new so this is my year of BAP plans right big ass projects plan so my idea was the first week I would either start a new one or work on one of my big projects realizing that I can only work on what I have with me right so that didn't work <laughs> New Year's Day, I got a new one started. Yesterday, um, I got my hour stitching done. Oh, I was, I was pulling stuff together for some of my other big projects, seeing what I had with me that I could work with. I didn't get a whole lot of stitching done yesterday. And then all of yesterday evening was spent. Um, so yesterday, e yesterday, the mattress and the box springs for the bed were delivered here. <coughs> so we moved up, we brought a bunch of stuff up last night. So we could, we weren't planning on coming up here last night, but because cause these weren't scheduled to be delivered until today, but they came yesterday. So we decided since we needed to come up here and get it inside, because you know, the boxes were just sitting outside the front door, um, that we would bring a, a load up. So, um, that's what we spent yesterday evening doing. And by the time we got back, it was like going on nine o'clock and I was just like, bleh, 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 bleh. Well, I didn't do anything except play games on my iPad. <laughs> but having said that, this is my start on New Year's Day. The Leeds House Sampler by Rosewood Manor. And I am using the Sulky petite threads that it calls for. I got the set. Such a beautiful piece. 
Now, I don't think I'm going to put this verse down here. She does have um, alternative alphabets, or of course we have this one. Um, and she does have a, another like piece in here with the sign with the word welcome on it. So I think I'm going to, uh, it's like a, a totally different piece. It's not just this square with the word welcome. It's like a different border. So I think I'm going to see, but I don't think it's as big as this. So anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to figure out a way to make welcome work down here. So, <coughs> and that could go right there. <laughs> I got to start on the alphabet at the top. So each one of the letters is a different, um, of the, the first four letters is a different color of the sulky thread. This is 32 count um, helix by Picture This Plus. The pattern calls for 28 count helix. I wanted it to be slightly smaller, but I knew I couldn't be too, go too small because these threads, the one strand of this is equivalent to two strands of floss. So I knew I couldn't go too small, as for the small count or large count. <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> for the fabric. So, just a little bit of a start on that. So you can see the alphabet's pretty much all the blues. And then we get down, and, and this is the first page, like right in here. So I'm getting to the green a little bit later. Such a pretty piece. I've had this for a while, and I'm thrilled to be starting this. Just thrilled. Okay, so. Um, let's see, what else? Let me go back to my notes, because I think I missed something. <coughs> okay. I did get a little gift that I want to share with you. Cindy's Cross Stitch, Cindy, sent me this sweet little ornament, and I absolutely adore. Number one, I'm sure she stitched this and stuck this on here, right? J one over one on tiny, tiny little count. And then I love that it's a knit scarf on it. Is that pretty? And it's really soft. So how sweet is that? And it has a little clip that I can clip it onto the Christmas tree. Thank you, Cindy. It's adorable and it's perfect. And look, he can sit up on the railing. <laughs> My little snowman in Hawaii. I love it. That's just perfect there. Wish it was real. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Cindy. It's adorable. He's going to stay right there and look at me. All right, so now what I'm going to show you now is my um, plans for um, the whole big ass project thing. And let me get to my pictures. Okay, so. <coughs> One of my big ass projects is my um, Grace Quaker sampler. Grace Quaker sampler. Um, by the way, that is done on XG Designs um, Ash Rose 40 count linen upside down <laughs> because it looks just as good, except the bird doesn't look good upside down. So that's a 40 count linen. Um, so that's one of my big projects. The Leeds House sampler is, is one. Another one is Hoity Toity. You've seen this before. You'll see it again. I would love to get this finished this year. Such a stunning piece. So Hoity Toity, and that is on a 36 count unknown um, hand dyed that I got somewhere many years ago. It's really, really rich on that fabric. Okay. The other big projects are my Chatelaine. So this is the center of the Taj Mahal Chatelaine, Taj Mahal Mandala. I have had this probably 10 or 15 years, if not longer. I don't like to count back that far because it kind of scares me. <laughs> this is going to get done this year this is too gorgeous of a project to have it just sitting undone all these years 
this is getting done. It is done on a pale yellow. This is the kit. I just got the kit from um, <coughs> from European Cross Stitch. So it's a pale yellow. I believe it's a 32 count, but it's been a while since I've looked to see what the count is. Another big project is this one, Four Seasons. This is a soda stitch. I got another X Ju Designs. I actually had Judith um, custom dye me a piece of fabric. I knew I wanted something similar to my Harbor Haven. Not that this design, you know, is the same as Harbor Haven, but it's still a big outdoorsy type of scene. And so I knew I wanted some kind of blue modeled. And this is a 36 count. It might be called Light Sky. I'm not sure. I don't think the tag is still on it. Um, you didn't marked it. Lo pff, knocked it out of the ballpark. Kind of hard to see, but you can see the gorgeous modeling. Look at that. It kind of mimics what's going on up there in the sky, right? Oh, I can't wait to start this one. And this is actually the one that I was kind of playing with yesterday, seeing which of the flosses that I have here. Um, and I have quite a few. I have enough that I can start it. So I actually hope to get this started. <coughs> actually, my hope is, my plan is, when our chairs come, I'm hoping that there's, like, behind the cushion in the back, there's a place that I can hook on the little um, holder thing that I have for my phone that I use for my Stitch With Me's because my idea is that I can have that coming over my shoulder and that I can start this as a stitch with me with you guys. So stay tuned. If I get that done, um, I hope to record that tomorrow. I probably won't put it up until um, Saturday or have it come live Saturday, but that's my plan. Okay, so the other um, big projects for 2019. You've seen this one. I've show, I showed you this last week. I got the... Oh, get back here. I got all the silks for it. Luz Gonzalez by Samplers Remembered. I can't wait. And I have to because it's in my... I'm pretty sure it's in the household goods that just arrived today. But is that gorgeous? The fabric that I got for that was um, actually the fabric that Nancy um, from Victorian Motto Sampler Threads made for S Sally Brazier, not Sally Brazier. Um, can't remember the other, you know, the other sampler that um, Julie Gulf Coast Stitches arranged. Nancy made the sampler pack or the thread pack and the f and the fabric as a as a kit. <clears throat> I got that and the fabric will work perfectly the size and everything and I believe it is a 40 count. And it's just like a pale cream, but it, it's going to just be perfect for this. So Les Gonzalez. Um Jacobian tree. Now this one is Letitia's fault. You know, Letitia Beckett, crafty curator, I've told you before, if you aren't following her, you need to follow her. She channeled, I channel her, she channels me, I don't know. We, uh, everything she does, I love. Everything she does, I love. She started, okay, bunny trail. Um, Linens, the Linen and Threads store in Australia. You know, they did, they have done um, mystery stitch alongs for the past two years. They're doing another one this year that they just started. This year's is a square, as opposed to the, the past two years have been band samplers. This year's is a square. It's called the Peacock Sampler. And the center, it's probably the center, I don't know. Month one, January, is a peacock. So of course, Letitia's doing it. <clears throat> she's doing it in this gorgeous, keeping it all Australian, gorgeous 
um, silk from Silks for You. I told myself, oh look, the sun's really hitting my head. It's right up there. Um, whoo. I told myself I was not going to, to, to do any sales this year because I want to do all these other big projects. I'm doing that one through Leticia. And she's going to come, she's going to bring it to me here in Hawaii and let me visit with it. Right, Leticia? Look how pretty. See that? You could be sitting right here looking out. Sound like a plan? Anyways, Jacobian Tree is another one that she started. I have this in my stash. I don't know what fabric I have that will work because um, I don't have anything with me. <laughs> I don't have the pattern. I don't have the fabric. But I want to I want to start this one. All right, what other little goodies? <coughs> Speaking of stitch alongs, mystery stitch alongs, the modern folk embroidery stitch along from last year. I got a good start on it. And if you guys remember, this is the one that I, I had oriented on the fabric incorrectly. So I had to turn it around and start again. And this is my restart. I haven't finished taking out all of the old stuff yet either. I want to get this done this year. I don't have this with me. So that's another big one. And again, mystery stitch alongs, the linen and thread sow from 2017. I am about on May or June on this one. And I've decided just this morning, I've kind of been thinking of it. I love it, but I'm not as in love with it as I was. And as I think I will be with some of these other ones I want to do. Boy, my hair's flat today. Um, so I think I may, I may choose some of the bands, some of the remaining bands to do, not do all of them, but just pick and choose like three or four more and just get it done and ended because it's time to move on and it doesn't need to be as huge as it is as the whole thing is so anyways that one is another one so this is a um this is a vintage designer i don't know if she is still des designing liz turner deal are you guys familiar with her at all? She designed these knot garden pieces. And I have three of them. I don't remember which ones I have. I'm pretty sure I have this one. Again, I've had them for years and years. Since the late 80s, early 90s. It's time to get one out and get it started. Again, I don't know what fabric I have that will work. I don't know what size. I don't know anything except I have the pattern and I want to do it when it gets here. <laughs> so Liz Turner deal, one of her knot gardens. And then last but not least, and this is kind of a just a throw in at the last minute, as in this morning <clears throat> when I saw the picture and remembered it. <laughs> Oh, this isn't last but not least. Actually, I have one more to show you after this. This is called Colorful Deal Deer. This is a kit that I got from Amazon back when I restarted stitching last year. Probably 2017 now, right? A year and a half ago. Um, so this is on Ada, so it doesn't draw my attention as much. I love the finished project. know what that is somebody filling air in their tire maybe anyway I'd like to get this done I think he's really cute I've seen somebody finish it and it is a very pretty project and I just seem to have a thing with deers because <laughs> I have several other deer projects um, so anyway deer and sheep seem to be my spirit animals so anyways I hope to get that done too and then last but not least <coughs> I know you're stitching from stash and for the most part that's what I'm going to be doing. I did purchase this before the end of the year. It just didn't make it to me until yesterday. 
I saw this on Amazon and fell hard, 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 hard. So this is Joy Sunday cross stitch, the tree of dreams. It says ecology cotton floss, so it's not, it's not DMC, but that's okay. Is that gorgeous? I just, oh my God, that's stunning. So it does come with all the floss. And as I said, it's, it's, it says it's ecology cotton floss. I actually think it's close to, um, you can see all the, all the floss here. It has a softer hand to it. Like it has some of that rayon in it that, um, Oh, what's the floss that everybody's getting from China? I'm just afraid the, the, that floss that people get from China, it does have rayon in it and it's softer and it doesn't wear as well. It, it, it pills, not pills up, but it frays and not frays, but it gets fuzzy more easily. And it's because of the rayon. So anyways, this did come with 14 count Ada. I will not be using that. What I would like to do, I'm gonna, um, when I go to the cross stitch store, I'm gonna see if they have any 22 hard anger. Um, 22 count just so I can make this a smaller piece um, if they don't one two three stitch does hi Sasha do you want to come and say hi he's a little out of sorts as you can imagine Nina is asleep on the stairs Sasha has a tendency to wander around crying are you okay I think it's mostly because there's no furniture so he like doesn't know where to stay He's used to laying on couches and chairs. Right now he's going to curl up on my cross stitch. No, he's not. That's not allowed in this house. Sorry, baby. I have enough of your fur. All right, so I think that's everything. Um, I did want to kind of talk a little bit. I don't really do resolutions, um, but I wanted to invite you guys to something. I don't do resolutions because I don't keep them well. And I need to make things more of a lifestyle than a re resolution. All that being said, um, Mike and I are pretty darn tired of eating out. He cannot wait to start cooking again. We have the Instant Pot. The other Instant Pot will get here next Tuesday. And all of his spices will get here next Tuesday. The first thing he's going to make is chicken biryani, or maybe shrimp biryani. But we're going to try and start eating more along the Blue Zones diet idea, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, so it's more, it's more veggies, more of a, a, veg, a vegetarian diet, I would guess, I would say, but also with some fish and seafood and little bits of chicken thrown in here and there, not much. Um, it's supposed to be low sugar. I, I don't do that very well. I need my chocolate. So, you know, kind of along those lines, better than we have been, and then get back into exercising more consistently. Being here, having more of an outdoor lifestyle is certainly going to help. But the thing I wanted to invite you guys to was a new yoga um, program, I guess, that started on the first, actually started on the second. Um, I've been doing the at-home yoga practices with um, yoga by Adrian, um, a YouTuber who has probably a couple million follow followers at this point. Um, that's the, the yoga practices that Marnie and I did back at the apartment in Maryland. Well, Adrian has started a new month-long program called Dedicate that Marnie and I started. Actually, the first actual workout was yesterday. <clears throat> it's a great beginner workout it's a great she starts with the foundational breathing and how to get your body set right um, how to get your get everything your foundation in the right places um, working on getting your mind in the right place if you have ever been interested in giving yoga a try if you used to do yoga and would think you should get back to it and just haven't, I invite you to join me and Marnie, Yoga with Adrian. You can look her up on YouTube. Dedicate is the name of this month's program. 
I would love to have you join me. It's not hard. It's about a half hour to 45 minute long videos each day. I start my day with it because I find it's just a great way to um, to open up my day. The stretching, the breathing. Anytime I have a headache and I do a yoga practice, my headache goes away. There's something about the breathing and the relaxing and the getting in tune that just, it just starts my day off right. So I'd like to invite you to join me if that's something that you think you might be interested in. I think that's all. I'm going to put all this stuff away so Sasha doesn't lay on it. And then I have to start figuring out where to put away all this stuff that's in bags right now because we don't have any furniture to put anything away in. <laughs> Life's an adventure. Life is going to be an even more adventure. I haven't mentioned this in a while, but find your joy. It is out there waiting for you. Whether it's the little things, like my snowman on the railing, <laughs> with the sun shining in my eyes, the big things like moving to Hawaii, we still can't believe we're here. The Christmas season is over, the new year has begun. Determine to find your joy every day, little thing, big thing. Just take a moment, do a yoga practice in the morning and think about what was there yesterday that brought me joy? What can I look forward to today that's going to bring me joy? That's what I wish for you. Until next time, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.